recently moved into a bigger house and with that bigger house came a bigger yard. So we got a zero turn riding mower, but with that zero turn mower, I'm not able to get into the harder to reach places. And so today I want to get a trimmer for my yard. So I have two options when it comes to a trimmer. I can go with gas, which is usually a two stroke engine, or I can go with electric. Over the years, I've had my hands on just about every kind of trimmer you can imagine. Gas trimmers do have their advantages. The number one advantage of a gas trimmer is if you have plenty of gas, you can trim all day. However, there are some disadvantages to a gas trimmer that could make an electric trimmer a much more appealing proposition. Gas trimmers have a spark plug. Those spark plugs have a limited life. Every maintenance item that comes with a gas powered engine comes with a gas trimmer. All these disadvantages can add up. And if you're trying to do something like landscaping, they can take a lot of time away from the job that you're trying to do. But an electric trimmer to offset that issue has to have enough batteries that are charged to be able to get the job done in the right amount of time. So if you're gonna trim for three, four hours, that gas trimmer is probably more appealing. Unless of course, you have the budget to get unlimited batteries so you can just run your trimmer as long as you want to. So today we're gonna head over to Lowe's and I'm gonna get one of those new electric trimmers so I can see if it performs as good as a gas trimmer does. So the brand of trimmer that I'm looking for is the Ego electric trimmer and those have a 56 volt system and they come with three different head sizes. I believe they have a five inch trim head, a 15 inch trim head, as well as a 16 inch trim head. And since this is a YouTube video, I wanna go with the trimmer that has that 16 inch diameter trim head along with the carbon fiber shaft because that one claims to be the most technologically advanced in the Ego line. So let's head over to my local hardware store and see if they have it in stock. So this trimmer that I want is a little expensive. I believe the price is $329 and I heard that there's a deal going on with Ego where they're $299 right now. with my local hardware store is it's a 40 minute drive in any direction. So today we're gonna go to Lowe's and see if they have it at Lowe's. So there's three kinds of uh, weed eaters here. We have a five inch for 199, a 15 inch for 229, and a 16 inch for 299. And the 16 inch looks like it has a carbon fiber handle. They feel like they weigh about the same amount to me. Maybe the aluminum is a little heavier, but since this is a YouTube video, I'm gonna go with the 16 inch trimmer. <laughs> So luckily they had the Ego carbon fiber model that I wanted and about halfway home, I thought to myself, hopefully there's some trim line in this package. If not, I won't even be able to test and use this device today. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what's inside. So the first thing in this box is this giant 56 volt, I believe it's a four amp hour, Yep, four amp hour battery. So 56 times four, 224 watt hour battery. The handle, the trim line guard, a massive charger, some instructions, and hey, there's some trim line. Luckily that's there. So I wanted to be able to demonstrate this quick wind up. So this has like a winding mode right here. You just wind it right up. The trimmer has a intelligent line IQ setting that will auto feed wire as the wire gets shorter. So the wire has a 16 inch diameter trim, but once it gets down to about seven, between seven and 10 inches, it will spool out a little bit of wire on its own. So I feel a little bit like I'm gonna get robbed of that experience that I had when I was young, pounding my head of my weed eater into the ground to try to get more extension of my line. So while I'm talking, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up the rest of the way. That first step, I just unfolded it and I put it in its place. And the second step is I'm gonna take this screw that came with it along with the four millimeter Allen key and just thread that in and lock this in place. 
This thing does fold, but you're not gonna wanna fold it once you get this in place. The next thing I wanna do is get this line head installed, and the line head came pre-threaded with two screws, and it's pretty self-explanatory. This thing only uses a four millimeter Allen key for assembly, and all the other screws have a different head on them. So you're not gonna accidentally unscrew the wrong thing or screw in something else that you don't plan on screwing in. The next thing I wanna do is put on this handle so I have something to hold on to while I'm weed eating. The good thing about this trimmer is I can adjust it. And I think for me, for my height, the longest length is probably the right length. And then I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. And I have almost a perfect parallel to the ground cutting surface. This thing right here is for a strap that I don't have, but I plan to get a strap eventually, so I don't wanna lose it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right now. It just goes right here. And then when I actually do get a strap, I'll center it so that it's balanced nicely in between my body and my hands with the strap holding most of the weight. That only took me about five minutes to put together and I'm gonna check the battery has only two bars. All right, so I have the weed eater put together. I wanna get the battery charged up so I can see exactly how long I can use the trimmer on a single state of charge. And there you have it. That took me about five minutes to put together while I was recording this video. This charger packs a pretty good punch. It's a 320 watt charger, and this is a 224 watt hour battery pack. So it only took about 40 minutes to get a full state of charge from the two bars that I had. So I think it'll take about an hour to charge the battery from empty, whenever you're done using it with this charger. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this thing performs. All right, slide that on. Ooh, okay. On high speed, low speed. Oh, there is a little bit of a throttle play here. The throttle does have a trigger lock on it. You have to push that trigger lock to get it to work. Most gas trimmers that I've used don't usually have a throttle lock like that, which is fine. But if I'm feathering the throttle, I have to reactivate that if I let go of the throttle completely. Not a huge deal, but just something to keep in mind. Now, let me see how long it takes to weed eat my entire yard. dirty but that's what i would expect from a uh, weed eating like that all of this little zone right here took two bars off of this battery so i still have three bars left what i want to do now is go around the rest of the house and make sure i get all the little spots that i want using this trimmer i was able to get through my entire yard and i went around the house and i cleared that little field that you guys saw me clearing a moment ago i have one flashing bar remaining which means i'm probably getting to the critical point on the battery the battery lasted the entire yard and i had zero downtime for maintenance i did start to become a little worried about that line iq trimmer and the way i believe it works is it has either an inertia or a rpm sensor that when the motor has less resistance at a certain RPM, it spools out something. There were a few times where the line was getting kind of short and if I was using a regular trimmer, I would have bounced the head to get more line. And just as I was starting to get frustrated, that line would come out. So the line feeder is designed to pop out appropriately, but if I was doing this manually, I probably would have fed it a little quicker. However, that 14 foot line that came stock in there did last my entire yard i'll see next time i use this if it will last for the second time that i do it as well i didn't have to stop to mess with my spark plug i didn't have to stop to refuel with a yard this size i would have definitely had to refuel the trimmer at least once the battery doesn't feel hot and because i know it will only take about an hour to recharge it if i was going from job to job i would probably have time in between jobs to recharge this if I was doing a legitimate landscaping service and plan to use the electric trimmer, I would definitely get a second battery. And I think with the two batteries, between the run time and the recharge time, you could run this nonstop. However, 
would that cost be worth the value versus just buying a gallon of gas or so every day? I think long-term, if you get three to five years of use out of these batteries, that having two batteries and using something like this will definitely pay back that time that you lost messing with the gas motor. All right, guys, I've definitely had my fill of yard work for the day, so I'm gonna go get cleaned up. I'm gonna recharge this battery. If you like my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Do you think a gas trimmer or an electric trimmer is a better value? And I'll see you on my next adventure.